Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. We are here to do an EG walkthrough. We've got our first delivery from Engineered Garments for spring, summer 24. Uh, this is a, a small delivery. There's still a lot more seasonal to come. Um, there's, a, there's, a, there's like a substantial amount more coming. Yeah, a, yeah. Lot, a lot, a lot more Well, we coming. figure these are some icon pieces. They're good for the summer. Yeah. They're a little early. We're going to walk you through how to how to do what we do with these. Yeah, 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 yeah totally. Because they're definitely, I understand being a little uh, weary. It's like sure fucking 10 well, degrees out but <laughs> sure but also keep in mind that like these are all gonna sell out that's the reality because yeah. yeah, it's yeah. engineered garments and these are like icon pieces yeah. these are super transitional like yep. I, there's nothing here that i probably other than maybe the short sleeve that i wouldn't wear year round yeah totally so i mean i wear i have the fatigues as we'll talk about yeah. i wear them year round i wore them two days ago so, so we're gonna talk about how to style them yep. and we're gonna talk about how what we would how we interpret how we, these yeah 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 cool. so you just want to get started yeah let's start with the new Go ahead. So, so this is the first time we've gotten this first first uh, new season rather for engineering garments it's called the Ivy Blazer. Got it in the Black Watch, and then this kind of like, what would you call this fabric, dude? It's not like a taffeta, but it is like it's surprisingly heavier than you might think. Yeah, it's not crazy, and it's gonna break in really nicely. It's got a nice like check. It feels super classic, but it also kind of feels like it's from the fifties. The nice yeah. thing with the Ivy is it's just a super easy to wear blazer. It's very relaxed. You know me, I'm a big proponent of blazer with t-shirt yes, blazer with yep, light yep, yep. sweater yep. you get like a nice like lightweight cotton sweater i don't care where you want to get this from it basically is going to look like a long sleeve t-shirt yeah yeah yeah. you can do this all through yeah like until things are really heating up super clean you wear it to a dinner you wear it out just hanging out yeah honestly i think the more casually that you wear these the yeah. better they are going no to i completely play. agree i completely agree. yeah because when you look it's 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 not there's nothing super complicated about this and fit wise we'd say remember we had our buddy throw it on yeah fits similar to a bedford Exactly. Yeah. I would say I would say really similar to a Bedford, not as boxy as a lawyer. We're gonna bring you up front here. But yeah, so very similar to a Bedford actually in the fact that there's no lining, mm -hmm. super clean. Uh, nothing. I mean, just like it's very not complicated. Sizing wise, he put on a medium. He's true to EG medium. It looked good on him. So you always you obviously could size up if you want a little slouchy, but in terms of how it fits, uh, I would go with your standard EG size. That, that's what's gonna. And listen, nice. both of these Looks two, nicer. I think people get a little, I mean, here, I, I, I should not be the one that's uh, talking about Blackwatch. You should as a massive fan. Yeah. But people are a little weird about like, oh, I just don't know how to wear Blackwatch. Any color. It doesn't matter. <laughs> treat it like a flannel shirt. Yeah. It kind of feels like a flannel shirt. Just yeah. treat it as yeah. such. Again, especially with this kind of like Ivy approach that they take in a lot of ways, the less you do, the better it's gonna be in my 100%, opinion. Like yeah. the more the more you just throw mm -hmm, that on over everything. Mm -hmm. I personally would like if you could find like a beat up old Wrangler, like yeah, denim dope, shirt, dope. that's gonna look yeah, super yeah, cool under yeah. here. Like you go denim on denim, light denim with that over yeah. the top, that is instant, it's super comfortable and it's like instantly yeah, it's super cool. Yeah, yeah. Anybody's style kind of can make that. Yeah, work. I actually really dig that. Um again, I would also probably just do a pair of like if I could find like well no, I would just do like navy fatigues, which we'll get to. Yeah. With a white t shirt, yeah, some Birkenstocks, so you really just no, call completely this, understand. Like, yeah. It's gonna look really dialed, but you're gonna like casual it up. Yeah. So it's all like attitudinal at that. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I mean it's really just how you style it. Like you said, like a lady white rugby has the nice kind a thick high collar oh yeah that's a nice would read like you could do that yeah. i was thinking more of like a like a like a like a low gauge sweater i know what you're talking about i thought that would be yeah. super cool yeah and then again Which would, like, still would be yeah i would do like a beige yeah. color and some jeans and, and the black watch and you're done yeah easy you look you look great easy peasy right, let's move on to the next all right one. we're gonna you, move on to the camp shirts you've had these before i right? have i you have look. one from last season from spring very very similar so it's the camp shirt that we all know so uh, super thin fabric, same as last spring, if you remember. Definitely a little bit of a sheer nature to it. So if you're feeling kind of sexy and you were trying to stunt a little bit, this would be the move. You find yourself in Miami, you're going on a nice date night and you're gonna go get some nice sandwiches and some drinks and maybe do some dancing. That's the shirt to do the dance. You have in. a lot of like traditional tattoos. Yeah. Those are gonna shine through. <laughs> yeah. But uh, you know, standard camp collar, again, extremely lightweight. So I know we're talking about this in January. Uh, Warm weather will come, so it's not that big of a deal. But guys, this is another one. You put this under a blazer. You do not need to tuck it in. There's mm -mm. no reason to mm -mm. tuck it in. It's not really meant to be tucked in. Yeah. Flat hem looks great underneath, like a, just 100%. a simple blazer like that. The looser and less you do here, no, completely the better. Agree. Completely um, the agree. other thing that I don't know if you can really see in the in the video, it has this cool like kind of cross stitching thing happening. There's a lot of like depth to the texture and everything in, in the inside of the piece. I think it, I think that makes it honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Texturally, yeah. when you get up on it, especially in the light, you can see the fabric itself has like like yeah. a window pane almost kind of feel to it. You know Again, what I mean? Again, too, like, like this this 
something like this can be done a hundred different ways. You do this with like a pair of those one oh ones that we just got in. Yeah. The the one wash yeah. or yeah. slows, yeah. the kind of dad jean yeah. with like a black loafer and this, and you're done. You Easy. look super fucking stylish and you did nothing at all. Nothing. Like you yeah. barely put that together. Yeah. Everything that I just described, I mean, you know, jeans are two hundred bucks, get a two hundred dollar pair of like we jeans or something, or yeah, you can obviously set, go way I mean the Gucci's gonna be ideal yeah, yeah, here, yeah, yeah, but like yeah. anything like that, uh, Doc Martin makes a nice little tassel yeah, for anything like that. Boom, you're you're done. You're Easy. stylish. You're yeah. clean. You get barely. Find a nice pair of pair, pair of pants you feel yep. comfortable in. Easy. Okay, let's get to the icon. Yes. Here. So, uh, Canoe Club is a fatigue pant store. We all know that at this point. Uh, if a brand offers a fatigue, we're happy to buy it. Um, these are the standard you know, every season or, or rather <laughs> engineered garments does uh, fatigues and they often do Orslo it in does this. It too. Orslo <laughs> does it too. I got Orslo on the mind as well. And you know what? Actually, Chase, this is a good opportunity. Talk about why you would go, because you have both. Yeah. I've, I have both. Yeah. Why do you go this over Orslo sometimes? I think it's, I yeah. think there's a reason yeah. to have both for sure because yeah. it's a very different thing. Silhouette definitely changes. Yeah. The fabric changes, obviously. This rip stop. I'd like to point out, and Grambo, if we could, let's get a photo of my old uh, my old fatigues. I've had them for, I think, at least four years. You can drop them um, right above my head or wherever you need me to be. They, uh, they fade like jeans. They are soft like a tissue, like crazy. So I like the EG ones when I'm looking for something a little bit shorter of an inseam typically, so I don't mm. have to do as many rolls. Mm -hmm. um, and I also like the little sort of details. I like the little zipper pocket. It feels a little sure. technical, you know what I mean? And like I said, the EG fatigues are gonna fit slightly less roomy in my opinion in your true to size than the or slow fatigues at in in terms of regular there's a fit, little you know bit more saying? of a taper here yeah a little and bit more I of a taper the, from the, the knee rise down. is high it, but in more of like a fashion way rather than yeah. like a traditional way yeah if that yeah, makes yeah, sense. yeah 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 again the ripstop you got to treat ripstop a little bit more like denim whereas like Just i would treat it, like the or slow ones a little bit more like twill or yep. like a like a chino paint, no you know i completely agree completely agree um if you're not constrained and you like the fit of these pants, I would just, this is what I do. I get something I like and I go every color. 100%. Because you know that you know it's gonna work. The rip stop is tough enough that you can like beat it up. You can like go roll around the park and you're all good to go. You can wash it, you can not wash it. You can treat it like jeans. Yeah. So we've got it in the navy. I can't go around. I'm afraid I'm gonna burn them with that candle. <laughs> we've got a navy. This is gonna like lighten up too and get a lot of like flatter yes. and dustier yes. if that makes yes. sense, which is cool. Yep. We've got also- Yeah, the khaki a, are also rip stop. <laughs> A khaki also. And again, These are great. summer weight uh, in terms of they're not too heavy, but absolutely a year-round pant. I wore them with my Visvim Long Johns like a couple days ago uh, and was just fine. And also, I don't know if people ever see this, but this there's like a little, there's two little slits, like buttonholes right here on the inside of the hem. If you want to, you go get like an old shoelace or something. Yeah, yeah. I think they're technically the closest thing we've found are like hockey shoelaces. Sure. Hockey shoelaces, you pull them through and then you can actually kind of cinch these a little bit, yeah. which is a really cool look too. It just kind of completely changes the proportion almost gives you that like kind of mm -hmm. balloon mm -hmm. pant look mm -hmm. to it. And then the one other thing I think we should know is that the accrue here are actually not rip stop. They're that yeah. like it's that lightweight accrue it's, twill. Exactly, cotton. it's an accrue twill, and it's got like that um, like vanilla bean look to it in person. Actually, yeah, it's vanilla bean ice cream, bro. Yeah, speckles, speckled, and that'll get kind of like more predominant like as you wear it. Yeah, so dope. it'll look kind of cooler and more roughed up and yep. hairier as yep. you go, yep. which will really be cool. There's paint on this oh one. that's cool actually Special <laughs> okay um so yeah so those are those are the eg fatigues as i said uh i pick up a pair every season yeah i try to pick up a different color slightly different color and i was working in the mix yeah you chop those down into shorts you have them or don't have oh, them yeah, and that's yeah, gonna be a cool yeah, look yeah. too so yeah. you can if you if you get one and then get another one yeah this is where i'd say it's not because i own a business where we want to make money obviously but it's because i like to buy multiples of things yeah. so that i can alter one without worrying about it or beat one up without worrying mm -hmm, so i keep mm -hmm. one kind of yeah completely beat up one that i'm you know a little less beat yeah, up yeah you kind of do that and with something like this i don't know we've pushed green pants into the ground at this point just, and we'll continue to yeah. but uh this is like this is the bread and butter like if you get a pair yeah. of these uh, at all these are just great they read they can read like chinos they drape nicely they can also read super casual they look cool tucked in because you have the big ass pocket on the yep, back and, and the, the big higher pockets rise on the so kind of does the proportion yeah. situation yeah so this is like a you can do this with just a white t-shirt you do it with one of the camp ones you throw the blazer over the top that's a full outfit yeah. or you can it really will go with any other 
thing that's in your yeah, closet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, as far as like shoes go, I would personally, with with a fatigue like this that has this bit of taper, go with something a little bit more low profile. I like agree this. with you. I don't think you have to. You also have that cinch where you could do something like that, or you hem them up higher and you wear a thicker. It shoe. would open up the leg opening yeah. a little bit. Yeah. So if you're a little, if you're a 990s guy or gal, you can easily kind of make that work. Mm -hmm, but I mm -hmm. would say that for me personally, I like something a little bit more profile like this. Yeah. We just got these in. We're really loving these. This is the catch balls. You know, it's just like a Converse. This is like a vintage Czech military. Yeah. This is going to look, I mean, I would do this one like tonally with the white or with the with khaki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's going to look really Sick. great. And then you can go anything on top yep. at that point. And these are yep. only going to look better the more you beat them up. I also think the pink is a fun way to like, you do that with e like everything else normal with the it's black watch. Yeah. yeah, it just kind of okay, a yeah. little flash and it's going to fade out as you wear it because it's canvas. Yeah. So like the more you wear it, the cooler it's going to be. Yeah. So I think that's great. The other thing I wanted to point out is because I know we are doing a little bit of like transition. Yeah, yeah. Is that something like this? We're big into this pink for I like this pink. The we're seeing it a yeah. lot uh, in stuff. I think it's cool for the summer, especially that transition time between you know when it's you know like you you're kind of wearing now, shorts but, and a hoodie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But I just mean like this with like a fatigue pant is gonna like be stylish and cool without yeah. really having done it. It's I would wear it around the house while I was like no, completely agree. A magazine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. I think throwing a hoodie on with like a lightweight pant like this is like a really nice in between yep. seasons thing. Yep. So easy to do. This is the Cotta one. So you get that great garment dye. It's kind of, it's what I liked about this is that you get this like kind of faded pink yeah, no, happening. I, feel you. I think yeah. that's great. The other thing I think is cool. I've seen a lot of our customers do it inside of like our discord and stuff. Yeah. You get one of these and here's what I would suggest to do right away. They're already washed and stuff. Mm -hmm. I would put this through the wash twice, hot water and a dry. Yeah. Then I would set it outside in the sun and just let it get whooped on for a week. Yeah. 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 Then wash it again. And then yeah. it's good to go. Yeah. It's going to get that nice, like real, like drapey kind of, yeah. it looks like you've had it forever. And you throw that on with the green with a white t-shirt yeah that's its own vibe you throw it on with like the pink camp shirt I, that's what i've seen people doing like that camp shirt with the bucket hat yeah, i think dope. there's something really cool in like 70s i think and it's renegade because the, and cool the, about the, it. the shirt is so boxy it's a square and then you get the hat which changes the whole silhouette of yeah yeah, forms this nice it's shape. It's just you know a I mean? really yeah. nice look. I've seen people doing it. Yeah, I, I've I've done it. It's a, it's a cool. It's yeah. it's cool. So I would definitely suggest trying to like work some accessories like this in, where you kind of pull from that military thing that's happening. Yeah, and then pull away from it with something that's a little bit more transitional, and yep. simple, classic, and that's how I would run it. Yeah, no, I agree. So I'd say right here, I mean, this alone, you get one of each of these things, or a couple, a couple of the shirts, a couple of the pants, one of the jackets. That's like you could technically be done for the summer. Yeah, we have a lot more cool stuff coming, so I would be careful. Save some money, that. but. If, if you're a guy who wants to buy all in all at once and be like, my summer is sorted, you could yeah. easily do that here and have like, you know, five days a week outfit that changes every single time, especially if you blend in a sweatshirt and a t-shirt. I mean, that that's the thing that drew me to EG long ago is like, just get a little bit here and there. And then next thing you know, a couple years go by and you've got a full closet. It all works together. The nice thing about EG is that it really becomes this, it's a brand that like goes with any style. If you're into like streetwear, if you're into classic menswear, you've got the Ivy element. If you want the streetwear, the fatigues definitely play mm -hmm. in there. If mm -hmm. you want it to mm -hmm. just be something more contemporary or casual, it's got that. It's got, if you want it, if you're like, you know, traditionalist fifties, whole shit, the whole camp thing with the lawn pocket. Yep. It does a little bit of everything. So in my opinion, it's like one of the easiest things to blend into your wardrobe to get Absolutely. something cool, join our cult of people, yeah. <laughs> of people we're converting into EG people. And uh, and yeah, it's just it's just simple and not fussy. And I think that not that's fussy. like the best yeah. that something can be. If you need inspiration, you look up photos of Daiki Suzuki. Just look up photos of He's him just doing his thing. He is undoubtedly just fucking cool. Every outfit just doing his own thing. So we kind of lends everything his, we said here. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So come bite his thieves and and, and, and uh, check out this new EG. It's all available online right now, I believe. It will yes. be when this video gets live. It's definitely, I, I, it's on there. Yeah. So we've got that. And again, this is probably conservatively a quarter of 15 to 20 percent of what's yeah, coming so yeah. there's still a lot more coming too yeah. so we'll talk about that as well but this felt like a good opportunity to talk about like these great core pieces that are always inside of you yep. and how to do them yeah so i'll let you wrap it up you know how to do it thank you for watching <laughs> like comment subscribe uh hit me up if you're watching this uh you've probably got about a week to get into the discord before it closes um more information on that coming soon but yeah be in touch listen to the podcast timothy and i have customer service podcast and it's just this banter but more it's arguing just, it's just this so. yeah just more a little bit more bickering so yep. uh any questions about the eg stuff stuff we have yet to come this season questions about what is here uh, put it in just the comments be in touch. we're the ones who answer them so yeah if you have questions or you don't like what we said tell us about it and fine, we will yeah. our bicker with you it's yeah fine. they would love to yeah. so <laughs> thank you all right and good night peace Flash a little photo of frozen peas there. <laughs>